Hello, in my last video, I showed you how to install Google's Chrome web browser. And today I'm going to show you how to create a shortcut icon for Chrome on your desktop and then demonstrate how to set up your Linux system so that it automatically loads Chrome when you turn on your computer. The easiest way to create an icon on your desktop is to find the program in your applications menu. In this case, Chrome and right mouse click to show the pop-up menu and select the add this launcher to the desktop option. As you can see, we now have an icon on the desktop, which will start Google Chrome when double clicked. Let's say we now want Google Chrome to load automatically when we turn our computer on. Select the icon just created and right mouse click to show the pop-up menu. Choose the properties option. When the properties dialog window has opened, you need to select all the text in the command field and use the Ctrl plus C on your keyboard to copy the command reference to the clipboard. Close the Properties window and then go to the System, Preferences menu and pick the Startup Applications option towards the bottom of the list. The Startup Programs tab shows all the programs that currently load when your computer is switched on. It might be worth reviewing what's in this list. For example, I don't have Bluetooth devices so I can safely disable the Bluetooth Manager. To add Google Chrome to this list, we simply click the Add button. And with your cursor in the command field, use Ctrl plus the letter V to paste the command line we copied to the clipboard earlier. After entering a descriptive name, we can press the Add button to complete the process. If we were to restart the computer now, Google Chrome would load automatically once Ubuntu has finished starting. You can use this process to automatically start any program you like. Thank you for watching. If you have found this video useful, then please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. In the next video, I'm going to be showing you how to back up all your family photos off-site using the Amazon S3 service and a great Linux command line utility. Until then, goodbye.